All right, guys, give me 32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here on the display table, and uh, I'm really excited about the upcoming weeks and what's going on. Let me explain the reason for this video and the reason you're seeing this guy right here. Yesterday, or the day before, I was out at the range, and I was showing somebody this this pistol. Okay, this is the SIG Legion X5. This is my competition pistol. Love this thing. Uh, we're getting ready to do some really cool stuff with this guy. And that to include the, the, the Army Craft guys. And uh, we're going to revamp this thing, make it look really cool. I'm going to have to adjust or modify this guy a little bit because we're going to put a muzzle brake on the end of it. Now, here's the thing. Uh, you don't normally need to do that kind of stuff unless you're running some serious gassed up items like these 147s and these 124s. We're getting ready to take these out. Had to do all this because I'm out of 124s. So, Al, <clears throat> anyway, uh, when we do put the muzzle brake on the end of it, we're going to have to go ahead and cut this out. It's going to look kind of stupid, but I will tell you this. This is a Red Hill Tactical Holster, and uh, I love this thing. I really do. And the only thing that's going to happen is that these, the, the muzzle brake will be sticking out about that far. Not really mine, but watch the ease of operation in that. It's absolutely awesome. So I was out there at the range, and had this guy right here sitting on top of here and I've I don't know how many competitions I have this is a loophole Delta Point Pro and I let the slide run forward and the little latch right here that holds the battery door went boo and that's what happened right there now I'm sure it's covered under warranty but the day or two before a competition is not where you want this to happen the problem with the Legion X5 is that the holes only accommodate just one or two different uh, optics. One being the Delta Point Pro. Uh, another is this uh, Holosun. This is the, well, this is the ACSS. This is the HE507 Green Circle Chevron X2. That looks great on there. And then quite honestly, I uh, wouldn't mind doing that, but I didn't have this, the this length of screws that I needed to do that to make this work. And the good thing about the Chevron, the uh, the Vulcan reticle, is that it has a circle ring in it, which enables you to be able to find that center part really good. So, But I don't have that problem with this, and we're not put in a position where I really need something like that to happen. Actually, I can peel this part off. That's for my light to go on here. So here's the deal. Came up, I had this sent out to me by the guys over there at Optics Planet a while back for a promotion that they were doing when SIG had a, a really big heavy sale going on. And this was it. And out of the blue, I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, talking to my good friend, Val. Uh, Bald and Curious, he's like, you know, do you know the Romeo of uh, World Pro who fit that? And I was like, wait a minute, I have one. So disaster averted, to be perfectly honest with you. And then I had this. So I thought it'd be a great opportunity to go ahead and, and take a look at this thing um, and do a little quick review on it. I've got it to mount it. And then I got to take it over to the indoor range, which I absolutely hate, and do a 25-yard zero with this thing. Okay, so this comes with the multi glass, spherical lens, high-efficiency notch reflector for zero distortion. Okay, uh, this particular one is a 6-MOA LED. It's a true-hold lockless zero system, which utilizes twin adjustment springs. The MOTAC, which means it will uh, automatically turn off and turn back on within a second. Aircraft CNC, this does have the 7075 aluminum and the IPX7, which means you're good to go for like 30 minutes at a yard, three feet underwater. Or it might be one meter. Okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Infinite guarantee, electronic component, limited five-year warranty. See website for a few details. I really don't need to. Uh, but so what we're going to do... <coughs> Uh, we're going to take it out, take a look at it. I've already uh, put the battery in it because I just needed to see what the heck it looked like. But it absolutely comes like this. You're going to get a an instruction manual that's going to tell you all the cool things. Really cool little SIG stickers right there. Okay, And then this basically, basically is it. You have what we, a cover. Then we have the uh, tools. Do you have this really cool? This is an adjustment piece. The one thing that I really am not a big fan of with this guy. Uh, hold on one second. The one thing that I'm not really a big fan of is the micro screw tip that ne is needed to adjust the elevation and uh, windage on this thing. So also there is hardly anything, any click noises at all. I just held that up to the microphone. You're going to hear the cicadas in the background. 
Uh, really easy to install the battery right there. I like this. This is a screw top. You're not going to worry about anything flipping out. And uh, that's it. It is held in place with these two little screws right here. I would love to show you how I could put it onto the pistol, but the wonderful people over there at YouTube, they don't let you do that. So uh, there is n just a tad bit. I've actually mounted it, to be perfectly honest with you. There's a little bit of uh, blue Loctite on there. I might just go ahead and add a little bit more. But it's very simple. It comes with uh, a, one of those little batteries. Not, not a big battery. What battery do you use? Doo -doo -doo -doo. I can't remember. It's a little 2032 battery. It is not that one. It's a little one. But it's about that big and goes in there. I will tell you that the Daylight Bright, you can turn this bad boy up. It is, and when you go to the highest setting, it actually will, uh, it'll, uh, what do you call it, go on and off. Let's see, first of all, let me see if I can get it on there so you can see. Well, come on, bad boy. Oh, there it went. There. See how big that is? It's not really that big, but that's how bright it is. When you go to daylight bright and you're out there, it'll actually shrink on you. Um, I do have an astigmatism, but I'm not really affected by this guy. And that's one of the reasons uh, I like using a dot versus just uh, iron sights because, honestly, I can't see the iron sights. So, But I, what I can see is that dot and the target in front of it. This is the little shield that goes on top of it. Like again, I said, this is made from uh, 70, 70, 75 aluminum. And uh, the other one that they previously had was magnesium alloy. It's really brittle. And uh, had some issues with that. But you got these little nice screws. They go in the top of it like this. You are awarded, afforded a Allen wrench with a, a torque edge on it. It's probably a T10. So anyway, what we're going to do is I'm going to mount this bad boy. You're going to see it in some competition videos here in the near future. Um, comparatively speaking, where did I do? The window is just, it is smaller than the Leupold Delta Point Pro. All right, if you're into comparing those things, let me go ahead and lower it so you can see now what it looks like. Is that going to be a huge thing for me? Pro it might. You know, I like a bigger window like that. The uh, I got the Romeo 3XL and I'm running that. Actually, that's why I brought it out here. I'm running that on this guy right here. And I that it has a tremendous window, and you don't even see... Um, the framework around and I'm hoping that's gonna be the same thing here uh, we used to do this thing where you would tape over this thing and you were target focused and you would see the target and not necessarily need to dot but it was a good practice to do wait a minute why is the thing oh it's not not off so anyway what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount it onto the pistol I'll be right back of course you can't show that but I want to show you guys I am going to implement this because one of the things that we do with these pistols is we slam them around. We throw them in the bucket. This whole thing moves on here. It's just flex. So it's nice to know that you have this on here. So just like that. So anyway, let's go ahead, mount it on there, put a little blue Loctite, just a tad little bit more, and then I'll be right back and we'll show you what it looks like. See ya. Stand by. All right, so there it is in its, all its glory right there. So I'm really looking forward to taking this out and shooting it. Um, a lot of times, you know, I'll, I always, it's amazing, but I use the optic to rack the slide. Oh, I would do it up here. But in any case, that's what it looks like while it's on the right, on the pistol. And uh, it's, it's actually, you know, it's, the footprint is about, is exactly the same, actually. But uh, the elevation is or the size of the glass on the Delta Point Pro. I am sending this back. We are going to get it fixed and replaced and it will probably go back on this firearm. But we will probably put this on something else down the road. With that being said, guys, that's it. A real quick uh, look at this uh, Romeo One Pro from the guys over there at SIG. Thanks to uh, Optics Planet for sending this out. And it's been in my office on the desk for a while now. I totally forgot that it was there actually. So with that being said, we always end them like this. God bless America. God bless us men, women, uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom sometimes comes in these beautiful 147 hand loads. <laughs> these are spinner ammo. I'm going to test them out. See how they work. But a little bit more weight makes that spinner go around. Scabby32, I'm out of here. Y'all be good.